In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a free landing page or opt-in page without using ClickFunnels. So we're inside of a platform called GrooveFunnels, and uh, they offer their platform uh, for free on the front end, a pretty uh, spectacular amount of stuff that you can get for free. Uh, and then their goal is to ultimately get you to upgrade into all of their other services. Uh, but it's a pretty impressive range of uh, templates that they have here. And so let's say you want to create some sort of opt-in. Uh, this one, for example, is based around a webinar uh, opt-in. So, you know, the three secrets to reach something and then you, the different time that the uh, uh, webinar is being offered and you can register for it. So that's an example of one of their uh, templates uh, funnels or, or opt-in pages. Um, they also have them for e-commerce and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's take a look at another one. So this is just sort of a, a basic preview of one of them. Uh, this one uh, is fairly um, uh, generic. So, you know, headline uh, with some uh, additional supporting text and then a video off on the left-hand side, uh, some other features that you might put in. And so this is sort of giving you the ability to uh, go in and, and swap out all of this placeholder stuff for uh, whatever content you might want to have. Uh, so why don't we go inside of this one and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to replace what you have here with your own stuff or if you don't need all of this content to delete uh, it and move on to, uh, uh, to publishing your page pretty quickly. So uh, let's go ahead and hit select on that. And uh, what it's going to do is build, uh, bring up the builder uh, for the Groove Funnels platform. Uh, the, gr the builder has all kinds of different elements. So let's say you want to swap out the logo, obviously, you go ahead and click on that. You just go to configure, and then you choose the logo that you want to use uh, from your library. So I, I'm going to grab uh, this logo, which is one for our business. We'll go ahead and hit select, and then uh, hit update, and it's going to replace it. Now it's a black background, and we have black text in our logo. So all I'm going to do is select the background, and then we will change it to one with you like a lightish gray. Okay, there you go. So that's how quickly and easily I was able to change this. If I don't really like it, I want to shrink it down a little bit. I can change the size. Uh, I could have chosen a different version. Actually, that gray is a little bit too dark. So why don't we go one shade lighter, etc. So you can see how quickly I can replace all of this stuff. Uh, I want to swap out the video. Just click there, uh, go over to configure, and then I just need to find the YouTube ID that I want to uh, replace this with. I have no idea. Um, I don't have YouTube open right now, but if I wanted to, all I had to do is go over to YouTube. Uh, and then I could pick whatever video uh, ID I want. So we'll just pick a random video from the ones that are here. Uh, how about this crazy one with the guy hanging uh, upside down from that tree? So I'm going to copy the link address. Uh, and really all I need is the very end of the link. So I'm going to go ahead and, and paste that. And you can see it's after the V equals. And I'm going to hit update. And now you can see the video has been replaced. Uh, I can also enable autoplay. Now that may or may not work depending on somebody's browser configurations. A lot of browsers don't actually allow autoplay of videos, but you have the ability to do that as well. Okay, uh, so then, you know, I can uh, change the headline here uh, simply by going in here. Ah, that's one thing that I always forget about is that this thing pops open on the right hand side. Uh, so, you know, I. Here's my awesome headline. Uh, and then I could, you know, replace all the text here as well. Uh, the button can do any number of things. One thing that I can have it do is uh, to open up a pop up. Uh, which is here, and I can build my own pop-up. So let's say I wanted to open up a pop-up. I don't have any pop-ups that are predefined here, but let's say I want a pop-up. All I have to do is over here on the left-hand side, create new pop-up. Right, so now that I have this option, I can choose which pop-up design I want to use. Let's just use the basic one that's up here. Uh, I'm not going to design it right now just for the uh, purpose of this. I'm going to go ahead and just adjust it. Now, this is a standard pop-up, and that means that when you click a button or you have something else on the main page to trigger the pop-up, it shows up. Uh, but you also have the ability to have an entry pop-up that shows up after a certain amount of time, right? So you can change the delay to like 10 seconds, for example, um, or 
an exit intent pop-up, and that's so when somebody's uh, mouse leaves the browser, then the pop-up will show up. But in this case, we want to make it the standard so that it gets triggered. You can also choose which page it shows up on, whether it shows up on every page on the site or in, within the funnel that you're building, or just the uh, page that you're on now. So I'm going to leave it as is, go ahead and hit save, and then we'll be back over here. So when I hit button, I now have the ability to go back and select the specific pop-up that we created and update it. So now when I am doing a preview of the page, I should be able to hit that button and then we get the pop-up. So you can see how quickly we did all of that. Now, let's say I don't want to have all of this other stuff here on the page. Maybe I just want to have that pop up uh, and get rid of all these other pieces. I just click on one of these and I can hit the trash and it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? And I'll hit confirm. Uh, let's get rid of the testimonials, although I would never get rid of testimonials if I have them. Uh, get rid of this, etc. So I'm, I'm now reducing the amount of stuff that I have on the page and I can quickly and easily, you know, have a quick... Uh, down and dirty um, landing page with a video, uh, some text here, a button, and the pop-up, and then I get rid of pretty much everything else that was on that page. Uh, and so I can then go ahead and publish it. Now I, I need to leave that footer in there. Uh, these links I can get rid of as well, just like everything else. Boom, it's gone. Boom, it's gone. And so I can make any of the other adjustments I need to make, like uh, replace this with, you know, the uh, the copyright date, uh, any um, privacy and terms of service uh, links that I need, want to include, particularly if I'm doing some sort of landing page that I'm running traffic to from Facebook or Google. Uh, I want to make sure I conform to all of their rules. Uh, so that's it. It is super, super easy. And as I said, um, GrooveFunnels is giving you access to this for free at the moment. Uh, all you need to do is sign up and their investment in giving this to you as, as a free offer is that you are eventually going to decide that you like it so much you're going to want to upgrade to all of their other uh, goodies that they offer. So that's a quick look at the Groove Funnels um, landing page builder. Uh, and if you want to get access, you can click the link down below this video uh, to head on over and pick up your free Groove Funnels landing page builder. Oh, hey, before you go, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you got a comment, please leave one. And finally, don't forget to subscribe.